SpaceX is about to launch its riskiest mission to date. It's called Polaris Dawn. It's a five-day mission that will help test new technologies and feature a spacewalk at the highest Earth orbit ever flown. Joining me now with more CTV science and technology specialist, Dan Riskin. Dan, what is going on with this mission? Why is it so risky? Well, this is a, it's risky because it's new. It's risky because it's gonna take a trajectory that we haven't done uh, before. And so this is a, a normal SpaceX uh, capsule. It's gonna go up, it's gonna go out, but it's not gonna go to the International Space Station and it's not gonna go into the normal orbit. It's gonna go into an elliptical orbit that takes it as far as 1400 kilometers away from the Earth and then it comes back down. So instead of doing a circle around the Earth, mm -hmm. it goes in an oval it takes it farther away and then brings it closer. And so those people on board, there will be four of them, are gonna end up going about three times as far from the Earth as, uh, as they, people do when they go on the ISS. People haven't gone that far since the Apollo missions. Yeah. And then the other piece is they're gonna do a spacewalk, but there's no air lock on this spacecraft. And so they're gonna basically open up the entire spacecraft to the void of space to do the <laughs> spacewalk. So there, there's a lot that's going on and it's pretty exciting to watch. Exciting, yes, but I mean, who are these people that wanna be the guinea pigs? So you've got Jared Isaacman, he's the person who started, uh, who basically he's a billionaire, he's made a bunch of money with you know, selling things online and, and bank, online banking and things like this, but he funds this Polaris mission uh, initiative. And so this is a company working with SpaceX to get people out into space. And so they've worked with SpaceX to make these uh, space suits that are gonna be worn that are different from the ones that we've seen before. And he gets to go along on the ride. Um, and then you've got two SpaceX engineers who are gonna go along as well as, and also a retired uh, US Air Force pilot. And so the four of them go up, hmm. they go uh, on this trajectory, but the spacewalk is gonna be really interesting because like I said, everybody has to wear a space suit because they basically just open the door to space. It's gonna be a pretty quick quick spacewalk, just a couple of hours from top to bottom. But uh, what will happen is they'll, they'll let the air out of the capsule, they'll open the door, all four of them will be wearing spacesuits. Then basically uh, two of them are gonna sort of go out the door, look around and then get back in real quick. Uh, one mean? after the other. They're not gonna go both floating at the same time and they're not gonna float very far from the spacecraft. Um, but they'll do that and then once they're back inside, they'll close the door, put the air back in and then take off their spacesuits. So what is, it, what is it about these spacesuits that is so unique? Well, the spacesuits are a, a brand new sort of innovative design. And so we, we're gonna see basically a very different look for being in space than we've seen before. And that's a big part of what SpaceX has really been pushing. Um, but this is sort of what we hope for from the privatization of space travel in general, is just to make it cooler and to make it easier to imagine going out in these things. I mean, spacesuits are famously sort of bulky and difficult, and they have to be, because a spacesuit is a spaceship. I mean, it has to do all the things that the, the space shuttle or the International Space Station or any spaceship has to do in order to keep a person alive. It has to manage the oxygen, it has to deal with pressure, it has to do temperature, it has to do all those things in a way that keeps a person alive in a place where no human could possibly live for any stretch of time. And so um, to make it look cool on top of doing all the things it's supposed mm. to do is uh, really great engineering. So, and what's the point of all this? Like, what is the ultimate goal here? Well, there are a couple of different ways to answer this. I think for, for SpaceX, it's a flex. It's showing off that they've, they're, they're able to do things. Scientifically, there's, there's lots to be gained. You can look at how uh, radiation affects those astronauts when they get a little bit farther out from the Earth. The, the International Space Station is in space, but it's still largely protected by uh, the Earth's magnetic field. This will be a little bit farther out, and so they've got sensors that'll look at how that's, uh, that space radiation is affecting them. Uh, but ultimately, it's just another step out into the great mm -hmm. beyond. And, and so it's just about making progress to do more stuff in space and show what humans are capable of. I'm really excited to watch this from Earth. I'll let them, <laughs> them do it first. Dan Riskin, always a pleasure, thank you. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting tomorrow morning. We'll see you, we'll see you later, thanks. Awesome. Right. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.